Welcome to the DOJ Online Services Deceased Estate Rework Demonstration. In this video, you will learn how to resubmit an application that has failed the screening verification process from the Department of Justice back office. To access the DOJ Online Services, you need your credentials that you created during the registration process. Simply capture your email address or your username, depending on what you chose, during the process and enter your password, and click on the login button. You will then be redirected to the DOJ Online Services landing page. Depending on the profile that you utilize to create your deceased estate application, you need to ensure you are transacting on that profile. To do this, need to expand profile on the menu bar and select My Profiles. To switch to the profile that you submitted your deceased application, click on the checkbox next to the profile that was used. My application that was submitted was with my entity profile. Upon checking the checkbox, a confirmation message will appear asking if I am sure I want to switch to this profile. I simply click on Yes to continue. You will then get another confirmation message indicating that your request to switch to the entity profile has been successfully processed. Click on Continue to proceed. To access your deceased estate applications, on the menu bar on the left-hand pane, expand the menu item for Masters of the High Court Services and select Deceased Estate. Your reworked application will be displayed in the grid of your registered applications. To complete and submit your reworked application, simply click on the edit icon. An alert message will be displayed with the rework reason and what needs to be corrected. The DOJ back office would have indicated, in the rework reason, for failed screening slash verification process. Take special note of this rework reason to ensure that all the requested information is corrected to continue with your application. In this case, the rework reason indicates that incorrect documents were attached and that applicant information is not the same as the applicant identification document that was attached. Simply click on the Continue button to continue. You then have access to update the information on all tabs with the ability to navigate through the different tabs by simply clicking on each of the tab headings. All the information that was previously captured is reflected accordingly on each tab. You should then navigate to the specific tab where the screening slash verification failed and update the information before resubmitting the application. In this case, the information that needed to be updated is on the Supporting Documents tab so you can easily navigate to the Supporting Documents tab where you need to upload the correct applicant ID based on the rework reason. To upload a new document, you can click on the Add Document button, click on the Choose Files, which will then open up your Explorer on your computer or laptop or cell phone. Simply navigate to where the correct document resides that you may have scanned or saved. Click on OK. You then classify the document by selecting the document type and simply click on Add to add the document. Once you are happy with your updates, you can scroll down and simply click on Submit to resubmit your application. You will then be prompted again with a disclaimer notice. Pay attention and read and understand the disclaimer. Simply click on Decline if you do not wish to continue, or to accept to proceed with your resubmission of your application. A confirmation notification will be displayed to confirm if you wish to continue with the submission of your application. Simply click on Yes to proceed. You will then receive another alert notification indicating that your application with your reference number has been successfully submitted. Click on OK to continue. That brings us to the end of this demonstration. In this demonstration, you've learned how to easily access failed screening slash verification applications from the DOJ back office and how to resubmit your application for processing.